Hi, I'm Derek Jones. I've got a, another quick Fusion tutorial for you. This is Fusion 360. It's available from Autodesk. It's an excellent CAD program. I'm assuming you have a little bit of knowledge with it, but uh, not positive. If you don't, no worries. This program is extremely simple to use, very easy to learn. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube. So without that, let's dive right in. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my parameters are set up. Uh, I come to units and I'm going to click on it. Um, I use inches. The rest of the world uses millimeters. So that's something you want to pay attention to. So what I want to do is I want to go to sketch and I want to select center diameter circle. Okay, And I'm going to select the, the plane that is the top plane. Okay, And I'm just going to do one inch. I can scale this later if I want. But for design purposes, it's easier to uh, <clears throat> to do it this way. Now I'm going to do a second center diameter circle and I'm just going to make it slightly smaller than the first one. So there's the basis of my ring. So, Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go to create and I want to extrude this ring. So I'm going to do a quarter inch and there is my actual ring. Now I like knowing what I'm working with so just for um, just for uh, reference I'm gonna do the physical ma material as aluminum uh, and I'm gonna use so what I do is I go to modify physical material and then I'm gonna come down scroll through the library till I get to metal. Now when I get to metal I want to select um, I'm going to do an anodized blue because it's pretty. All I do is drag it over to the ring. Okay. Now I go to render and I have a ring. There is a very simple band and I could be done right now if I wanted to. But I'm not. So I'm going to go back to top and I want to spin this to where I'm looking at it the way I like to look at it. Um, I prefer to work in 3D, but you can work in 2D if it's best for you. Now, what I want to do for rings, I've learned that you have to put either a chamfer or a fillet to get them on and off without, you know, hurting. So what I want to do is I want to go to modify chamfer, and I'm going to select the inside ring and this one, and I'm going to give it a 0 .02. And now I'm going to model and I'm going to render again. And as you can see, now I have, and it for some reason it's glitching. It's not showing it, but it's showing in the drawing. I'm putting this uh, edge in. So that would be more comfortable to get in and out. Now what I want to do is I could be done right here. This would be a very simple wedding band or just a basic ring. I want to actually maybe put a gemstone in it or decoration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch another circle and I'm going to do a center diameter circle and this time I'm going to select this plane which is the front plane. Okay, And what I want to do is I want to find roughly the center and I'm going to just make this that big, okay, about, about 0 0.180. Now what I do is I go to Create, Extrude, and as I drag this through, you'll notice instead of creating a new part, it actually changes to uh, cut the operation. So it would do a uh, rod, but now we're just going to cut a hole. So now what I can do is I can go to Render, and I can look at this, and I can say, okay, well, I've got a ring and I've got a hole that I could mount a gemstone in or just leave it as a decoration. It, it doesn't matter. Um, that's one way I could do this. The uh, Now I could be done right here. okay? If I wanted to, what I would do is I would save this and I'm just going to call it test ring. okay? And I'll save that. Now I could right click this and save this as an STL and then I could take it to my 3D printer and I could print it or I could scale it. It is very easy to scale there. Um, and then I could print it in PLA and do a lost wax 
uh, mold if I wanted to, or I could actually machine this as well. So, but for now, we're just going to say that's it, and we're going to uh, look at our ring real fast, and there you go. That is how you make a quick ring on Fusion 360. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, better ideas, let me know. Please feel free to subscribe. I love open dialogue. I love comments. Um, if I can help you with anything, let me know. Thanks.